Is it time to talk about the main event? One match left. Now, it was pretty late in the night. It had been going a while, but it took the fans a little bit maybe to really get invested in it. But eventually they did, and this was the main event. Well, and and that's the thing is they they got back into things because it was the world heavyweight title, Samoa Joe, Swerve Strickland, three hours and 35 minutes into the pay-per-view, by the way, with another hour of pre-show matches before that that these people had seen. So over four and a half hours of wrestling and these two guys in a single match, got to follow that. And, but because Swerve still has appeal, they were into it and they were into it also because they didn't take off at a hundred goddamn miles an hour, right? They stood across <clears throat> and they milked the people at a Swerve's house and everything. And Swerve did indeed work as a baby face and Joe's a great heel. But then, you know, <sighs> They still, I don't know who the referee was. I know who Paul Turner is, Bryce Rimsburg, Aubrey Ed, <laughs> um, Rick Knox, the corpse referee. I don't know who this guy was, but he just was kind of dumpy and stood around and stared. But I think they felt like they had to, to get to people at almost goddamn midnight. They had to live up to some of the low bar set earlier, so... <clears throat> Within three minutes of the match, Joe's rock bottoming swerve over the fucking announce desk and pulling up the floor pads. But Swerve did a backflip over the top onto Joe, and then Joe gave Swerve a power slam on the concrete floor, which wasn't the finish. And they were out there for a couple minutes, whatever, and the referee's staring, gawking. And <sighs> I love Samoa Joe. Swerve, I'm lukewarm on. As I said, it depends on his opponent. But at this, I was worn out. I'd say everything you can do in a fucking ring at this point. The show was too long. It was running together for me. And we knew, again, that Swerve was going to win, so you want to stick with it. But, um, and I, you know, I don't know what they're doing with the goddamn finishes. Or maybe, maybe it's just this referee was just scared or somed or stupid. I don't fucking know. But at one point, Joe g goes out and gets the title belt and just starts to come into the ring with it. But Swerve kicks him. And he drops the belt and Swerve splashes Joe's back and does the double stomp and gets a two count. And then Joe picked up the belt where it had been laying since he dropped it because the referee never moved it. But then Nana gets up and draws the referee and Swerve <laughs> kicks Joe and gets the belt and swings, but Joe ducks and gets the sleeper. And they left the belt laying there. The belt was there in the ring for the rest of the fucking match. The referee never moved it, and it wasn't involved in the fucking finish. And then Swerve fought out of the sleeper and does some odd thing to Joe's arm and kicked him in the head and then finally power bombed him off the turnbuckle and hit the double stomp one two three and joe left the ring like he was double parked and got the fuck out of there and it, it was you know it was anticlimactic for what maybe a month or two ago should have been the biggest moment that they could put together but they let this go too long and they put a better moment in front of it. Yeah. I mean, it was a good match. It was fine. A uh, big pop for Swerve getting the belt, a big moment. Obviously he was, you know, really into it, <laughs> really into it. He won the world title, <laughs> uh, but big match, big finish, big pop, but the show should have ended. No show should continue after that Danielson Osprey match, especially too, because they teased Danielson being hurt. And I wonder how many people in the building thought maybe there's a chance he was. Because he, did a, he yeah. did a hell of a job selling that. I got Yes, he did. The doctors were checking him, and we I forgot to mention that the whole nine yards. We got off on a tangent, but he did a great job selling, but I don't know that I, I, I don't think that put a kibosh on the mood in the room. I think it was the ladder chaos bullshit. Well, it was, the, and, it was that match followed by the ladder match, which took a while, finally got people to be concerned, and then you got the Jack Perry reveal, 
And then there was still more. And that's and the then it, And then it was midnight. And the, and the pay-per-view had a, a window from 8 to 12 and went off at 11.58. Uh, and by the way, what a hassle it was for me. I decided I was going to buy it traditional pay-per-view. And it was the biggest goddamn hassle ever. What? With Xfinity, yeah. How? That's the only easy thing to do anymore. They don't have anything labeled as what is HD or SD. Their website doesn't even give you... If you go to their website, which a lot of people, other than like a Jim Cornette, would do to purchase like a event like this. What? It has boxing events. It has WWE pay-per-view events. There was nothing. Wait, wait, for wait, AEW wait, 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 wait. You went to the website to purchase. You're sitting on your ass on the couch. You got the remote in your hand. The TV's in front of you. You hit fucking program guide and go to your pay-per-view channel, which right here in the in the in the Cornet home is nine ninety-eight. And you and you go to the day and and there's the pay-per-view and you hit buy and record. Yeah, right. They had three different pay-per-view channels next to each other. I'm not too familiar with them. They all said AEW Dynamite. Nothing said HD or SD. Well, get SD, because that's a bad... They give you like 10 bucks off. And, Who gives and these, a shit? It looks like garbage. These guys look better in SD than they do in no, HD. You can't buy anything in SD. It's a waste of time and money. But anyway, that was AEW hey, Dynamite. I'll have you know that when Mama Cornette got... The, when the phone service out here, when she was able to have touch tone service, they wanted to charge her a dollar more. She said, well, absolutely not. Why would I pay a dollar to do the same thing on the, it's so she got a touch tone phone, but you would hit the button and it would go tick, 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 t